To get started, I added a video clip to my timeline. I'm going to begin by showing you how to do a very basic trim, and then I'm going to get more complicated as I go. Start by clicking on the selection tool. You can also simply press the V key on your keyboard. Set your time marker where you would like to trim to. Click and drag the end of your clip to the marker. Now, drag your clip back to the start of your timeline. But let's say you want a shortcut so you don't have to reposition your clips all the time. To automatically fill in your starting gap, hold down the control key while dragging your clip to the marker. All right, that's a nice trim. You can also do the same thing to the end of your clip. Next, I'm going to do a couple of cuts on my clip. You can either click on the razor tool or press C on the keyboard. Once you've made your cuts, you can trim in the middle of your clips in exactly the same way as I showed you for the end of your clips. Reselect the selection tool and then drag your clips. Remember, you can hold down the control key to automatically delete unwanted gaps. One last thing I'd like to mention in this video is deleting clips. Let's say that you don't even want the middle of your clip after cutting it. You could just hit the delete key, but then you'd have a gap and you'd have to drag all your preceding clips up. To avoid this, simply hold down the shift key while pressing the delete key to automatically shift all of your clips to the left. And that's all there is to it. You now know how to trim and cut video efficiently in Premiere.